Good Friday morning everybody, I'm meteorologist Brett Luna and we are off to a dry start this morning here in the Delta over the past six hours. We're we haven't seen any rain on our radar view, so dry conditions for us overnight, but we are expecting some heavy rain to move through later on tonight as a strong cold front works its way through the area. So most of us are actually most of the entire state under a flash flood watch. That's that green color that you're seeing popping up. That flash flood watch will remain in effect until later on tomorrow evening. There is also a wind advisory in effect for a lot of our counties today. We are expecting some windy conditions with winds coming out of the south gusting around 35 miles an hour. Right now, these southeasterly winds are sticking around with us at 10 miles an hour. That's helping us stay very warm this morning. We're at 63 in Greenville over in Greenwood, also at 63 with winds coming out of the south at 15 miles an hour. Now zooming out just a little bit more, just one degree higher up in Clarksdale at 64. Back west of the river in parts of southern Arkansas and northern Louisiana, we are seeing temperatures hit the upper 60s and then back over here in the eastern part of the state, just a little bit lower. We have upper 50s for Starkville and in Tupelo. So the big story for today, that's going to be the rain chance and the chance for thunderstorms that is expected later on tonight. As of right now, though, this morning, we should be staying dry. So by 8 o'clock, most all of us will be staying dry, not expecting really any rain for this morning. Same story goes for the early part of the afternoon, but then as we get on into the later part of the afternoon and the early evening hours, we could see a few thunderstorms develop out ahead of the actual cold front itself. So there is the possibility for some scattered thunderstorm activity late this afternoon and early this evening. But then the main cold front, that's going to be pushing through close to midnight. So very late tonight, early Saturday morning, this cold front should be lined up along the river. That's going to be bringing heavy rain to parts of eastern Arkansas and back here for us closer to the river as well. We could see this heavy rain line up from Batesville down to Charleston on into Cleveland and in Greenville. That's at 2 o'clock on Saturday morning. Moving on just a couple more hours by 4 o'clock. This rain not going to be moving too much. We also are looking at the chance for some severe thunderstorms associated with this cold front. So about 4 o'clock. Heavy rain moving into parts of Grenada County, Carroll County, and then on down into Holmes and Yazoo County as well. Now, a few hours later, by 8 o'clock, we should be mostly dry, especially for us back closer to the river. Most of the heavy activity will be staying close to I-55 by 8 o'clock. And then by early afternoon, I think most of us are going to see that heavy rain move out of the area. We could still be seeing a few light showers, though, during parts of the afternoon, but no heavy activity expected Saturday afternoon. So with this system approaching, the Storm Prediction Center has put most of our counties under an enhanced risk for severe weather. That's this orange color. That's a three out of five on their scale. And then back closer to I-55, so further east, everybody in this yellow, that's a slight risk for severe weather. That's a two out of five on their scale. And anybody in these areas, we are looking at the chance for some damaging winds up to 70 miles an hour. We also could see some golf ball size hail and the chance for a couple tornadoes cannot be entirely ruled out either. Also, we are looking at some heavy rain moving through, so we could see between three to five inches of rain with the system. So there is also the chance for some flash flooding as we go into the overnight hours as well. We're going to stay warm today, though. We'll be at 82 by four o'clock. For the most part, we are going to stay partly cloudy and windy. Winds gusting up to 35 miles an hour at times. Tonight, 63. There is that chance for thunderstorms. Tomorrow, upper 60s. And behind this cold front for the beginning of next week, we are going to dry out and temperatures a little bit lower in the low 60s.